Hey everybody, today we're going to be replacing a fuel pump on a 1977 Dodge B200 Tradesman with a 318 engine. Um, my, the way I do it, I remove the front passenger side wheel uh, to work in from the side. Um, that's the easiest to me, but there are different ways to do it. For now, I already have the jack under the front end with the weight of the wheel off. And now we'll go ahead and remove the lug nuts and get started. And this is the fuel pump right here. That's what we're going to be replacing. I soaked the metal line down with some penetrating oil. It's called AeroCroil. It's pretty good stuff. Um, it's great to use on frozen, rusty, stubborn hardware. Uh, like I said, I went ahead and sprayed it down. We'll go ahead and start taking the rubber line off. And then we'll move on to the hard line. There we go. I wasn't able to get the, the fitting loose at the fuel pump, so we'll see if we can get the pump loose from the block and try and see if we can get the whole line out with the pump and then take it off out of the vehicle. other bolts out and now we'll just try and fish the fuel line back down And we were able to get the whole line out with the pump. Now we'll try on the outside of the vehicle to remove the line from the pump. With that free, we'll go ahead and put the new pump on the engine block first. I don't know if you can tell, but the, it looks like the holes in the gasket were made slightly undersized. So you can actually thread the bolts into them a little bit to kind of hold the bolts in and the gasket on. On the end of the camshaft is the actual cam for the fuel pump. So we want to make sure we get this up under it. All right, I'm get the bolt snug back up, tighten down. We'll go ahead and put the rubber fuel line on and then we'll fish the metal line back up to the carburetor. All right, I got the fuel line um, fed back up to the carburetor and connect it up there. Now we're going to go ahead and reconnect it here at the pump.
now we'll give it a shot and see if it'll start. Now I have to go and readjust the idle uh, because it kept stalling out on me the other day. Um, uh, it's idling real low, so I messed with the idle a little bit and it still didn't help. And the way I figured out it was a fuel pump is I disconnected the fuel line. Right here, at the front of the carburetor, and cranked it over and no fuel came out. So that's that's generally how you can tell, and I, to verify, I did I did pour a little gas in the carburetor, and it did fire off. So that's how I knew I had a, a fuel pump problem. Hope this helps. 